and four is our topic of the day and it's a box and our topic of the day is what is better miniatures standees or meeples those are kind of the three pawns of the board gaming community and i think most people when they hear that it's like well it's obvious right we're gonna do miniatures but is it obvious i submit that it is not obvious and instead of constantly going with bigger better gray figures we should have this conversation so let me start i think standees are far superior than miniatures and only a little better than meeples now the way i say why yeah you can boo me that's fine now i will put the caveat is a painted miniature is is the best if you got a professionally painted miniature that's the greatest okay but why standees are the best is because they do not break the immersion. There is nothing. Well, let's like let's take Deliverance for example. He has miniatures and standees in it, and these be- these miniatures are beautiful. Um, they look great. There you go. But there they are. But they're uh, gray. Uh, I can do they're that. just gray. If I'm going to be playing a majestic, if I'm going to be playing a majestic angel <laughs> fighting these ugly demons, I want it to pop on the board. I don't want to break the immersion and being like, hey, you see this gray blob. That's an angel. It doesn't look great. Doesn't look great. Now, again, if it's painted, that's totally different. Um, so standees are by far the best thing. And then meeples. And the, I thought about this a long time ago uh, for the game uh, Vast. Okay. So Vast had these standees and they had these little meeples. And the standees were extra. And you could also do miniatures. And when you even use the standee and the miniatures in Vast, it it, the, it didn't look like the rest of the game. It, it looked disconnected, disjointed. But when you use the meeple... It was perfect. It was like, this is exactly the theme and the imagery that you want. Going with anything else is going to be um, to be distracting. So yeah, so this is my order here. Standees are number one. Well, sorry, number one is painted miniatures. Number two, standees. Then screen printed meeples. And then meeples and then uh, miniatures that are unpainted. So there you go. <laughs> I brought tools uh visual examples oh awesome who are you throwing it to daniel who's next well i want to look at (laughs) yeah Yeah, see the the acrylic tile oh that's cool acrylic yeah so those are awesome this is what i did for deliverance one of the problems that i think uh a lot of these games have is they have um uh some standees some minis um they do all minis and all standees and uh Mm -hmm. I, I think that whatever makes you know what makes sense for one game is not necessarily the same as the other. But um, we did our acrylic standees, and I gave the angels. I actually we you know it cost us more money because we included nine angel standees in addition. But um, one of the things like look at this angel, you can you can see. I mean it's it's. I wish I could like focus on it. Yeah. But right. you can see that there's like black air. You know in this character you can see the feathers and that kind of thing Mm -hmm. that's called an ink wash yeah it's an extremely inexpensive thing to do that just makes the mini look so good when you're actually playing it kind of looks like the miniature has been painted and um i think more games need to do that but i hate minis that like lord of the rings journeys of middle earth tons of miniatures in that game i actually think that they're kind of stupid because the best minis, like for example, the Balrog, you you get an expansion uh, that comes with the Balrog, big, huge, epic mini. You use it for one mission, and that's it. And it and you may not even get to that mission, and it's kind of it's it's weird. But um, you are like I, all this cool bling that you don't use just kind of clogs up the the box, and it's like it just feels uh, bad, you know. And so, for example, you know, in Deliverance, we've got. A hateful fiend one two three and four and you may not use hateful fiend three and four as much as one and two but you know if they were all minis you would have to paint them all and or just deal with plastic blobs you know that that don't look great and so we elected to not do minis for for those guys and they are standees cardboard standees or can upgrade for those acrylics but i really like when a game uses minis that are big so like our minis are really tall uh, the Journeys of Middle Earth minis are like very unimpressive and small, um, and you you use them all the time. Like you're touching them, it's very tactile, and I it always bothers me in games that use tons and tons of minis, where you're like, all right, dive into box eight for this miniature finally, 
Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a bummer. Um, one game that I think does this well is Gloomhaven, where they use some standees and some minis and the minis are your characters. Right. And so um, that's kind of the way I see it. How, it. However, we haven't really talked about the, um, the meeples. <clears throat> there are two games. I love meeples more than anything. Uh, the first one is Trogdor, the game. Homestar <laughs> Runners, Trogdor. They yeah, gave okay. the option to do some painted minis. And oh my goodness, the meeples are so fun. Um, you know, Trogdor with the beefy arms sticking out of the back oh, yeah. of his neck. Like, yep. it just, the Burninator. That's yes. right. So, uh, that's yeah. So mean. that's, uh, that's those. I just, I, I literally bought the game because I loved the meeples so much and I wanted the word Trogdor on my game shelf. Still haven't opened it up. Don't care to. But I have everything I want. <laughs> You're actually more. not missing much. You're not missing okay. a lot in gameplay. No. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I think that, uh, you know, another game that does it really well is um, actually a Christian game called The Flood, which did really well on really? Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, they have, you know, two of every animal that exists mm-hmm. inside their box. And uh, they did it in Meeples. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think. Yeah. Somewhere uh, meeples. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to build Noah's Ark. Yes. Uh, whole. But uh, but yeah, so I, I think that uh, meeples are underrated mm-hmm. and I think the rage is on miniatures and I personally see a lot of heavy, heavy mini games that are way too pricey, that didn't need to be that expensive, that don't really use the miniatures very effectively. Marvel United. That, yeah. <laughs> wow, you were talking to Chris on that one. <laughs> so that's my thought. So I'm, I'm standees for sure and then minis where they make sense where they're and meeples where they make sense. Yep. Cool. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, John, what about you? Well, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this meme that's, that was kind of popular for a while. If you're familiar with the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, where yeah. the guy sells, tells him, you're the worst pirate I've heard of. And he says, ah, but you have heard of me. <laughs> and you see the one where like, these are the worst painted minis I've ever seen. Like, ah, but they are painted. <laughs> so Yes, painted minis are great, but you know what minis do to me is they I'm I'm looking at my mo- my my game The Godfather right now. And it's just screaming at me you never painted these minis and they would be so cool if you would have painted these minis. And so while I like minis, that's the problem I have with them. It's like like Daniel was saying, if they have a wash on them like like Andrew was saying and like the ones in unmatched, that I can live with. Those are cool. It brings out all the detail, makes them look really neat. Then I can live with it. But as a just the plain minis yeah, I, 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 that's not my favorite. I like them, but it's not my favorite. And standees, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the bargain basement garbage games I had as a kid. Uh, <laughs> in particular, I had this game that was the Fantastic Four game. And Daniel, maybe you can help me out with this because then I get it home and the Fantastic Four in this game were Reed Richards, Sue Storm, The Thing, and some robot named Herbie or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah is that a, really a thing or did they just make it for my game do you no no they made him for uh he was a robot that reed richards made he was oh a my. nanny he was a nanny essentially i thought maybe it was a star wars thing they're trying to cash in on it up no human torch in my game and they were all in these cheap little standees and it was terrible <laughs> and so that's what standees usually remind me of is a cheap cheesy game so unless Herbie. they're really well made i don't like the standees and so I first thought of mousetrap but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my favorite is usually Yes, the meeples, if they're custom meeples. My least favorite, it's, it's very specific with me. Mm-hmm. My least favorite is the five star meeple. That's the generic meeple. That just means meeple. That yeah. just means we're lazy as a producer of a game. And <laughs> I think I'd talked about that with that game, Terracotta Army, where it's like, yeah. oh, it's all these cool sculpted things. And then you use these cheesy looking meeples that look like they're from 15 years ago. And so yeah. screen printed meeples that are custom meeples, those are really cool. Yeah. But yeah, the ultimate is painted minis. I gotta admit it. That's the ultimate. But as a, as things go that you can actually find out in the wild, probably screen printed minis, screen printed meeples are the best. But. And I think we're we're living in an age where there is no excuse not to have screen printed minis uh, or not minis, uh, minute meeples. Yeah, like, I know. everything needs screen print on it. Can can Period. I just say something that's obvious to everyone in the audience? What you are all very lazy. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> because. If you want, you you all rave about how great painted miniatures are, but you're like, but I don't have any painted miniatures. Just go paint your miniatures. <laughs> Quit your whining. I want to see line. some of your For painted miniatures, minis, Andy. They have a line longer than the Asbury Revival. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> all right. Well, Chris, what do you, what do you, what's your take? All right. So I'm going to give my take here, but I'm going to debunk Daniel right now. Uh oh. Okay. Yes. This is not painted, but. Hideous. But it's spiky. 
but it's spiky. It, it, you can see that it's like a, you know, this is a Chaos Marine from Warhammer 40k. Again, the, the unfortunately, it's not focusing, so you can't see, see much detail. But there's tons of detail. This thing is beautiful. It, at, at a normal distance, it's still awesome, even without the wash. But again, like we talked about, a simple ink wash is super easy, and it makes a huge difference. Andrew alluded to it earlier, and 100% true. You know what breaks immersion? What? Here's my standy. <laughs> if I'm sitting on this side of the board, yeah. if I'm on this side of the board, I can't see anything. <laughs> Standies are the worst, the absolute worst. There is nothing. Just, just don't play with them. Take, take them off the stand because the colored stand is just as useful when you're on one side of the board as as the standy itself. They are the worst. Yeah, there, there is nothing that I, that you've ever said, Daniel. You're more wrong on. Like when you first told me, like a long time ago, that you love standees, I, I, I literally had no words. I didn't know what to say because they're that bad. They are so worthless because they're only good half the time. Um, I understand people's beef with unpainted miniatures. I, I get it. It doesn't bother me because I've played a lot of miniatures games over the years and to paint an entire army to actually play the game it's, it's, it's a lot of work so i'm i'm okay with it more than most but i can understand people's beef with it regardless i, I can play them and they look good to me and it comes when it comes to meeples you know i'm all in because i want the little i, mean, I don't even want meeples i just want some nice cubes, cubes. so yep. <laughs> um so I, I don't even want meeples but it, so that that's kind of how i feel about all those things so regards though in my actual opinion what i want is indeed meeples or cubes because they're the wow. cheapest. Oh, There's okay. <laughs> no need for the miniatures unless it's a real miniatures game. This is part of my beef with Kickstarter. Every game has to have miniatures. You were talking about a meme a moment ago, uh, John, mm -hmm. and I saw one recently where it was like, oh, cool, my my a game, a simple little card game that I've wanted for so long is going to be reprinted. Oh, wait, it's going to have miniatures and real coins and all this stuff, and it's going to cost <laughs> $300 when it was a $15 card game. Yeah. Yeah. That meme encompasses every problem I have with like with the Marvel. Castles of Burgundy reprint. Oh, yeah, exactly. oh great! Oh, well, I have yeah, to buy so it with castles for ninety dollars. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I liked about that was meaning I could get an old copy real cheap off of uh, Marketplace. So I was excited about that. that. But true, yeah. I so like to refer I, to that as Castles of Burgundy, the miniatures game. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it, to real answer the question real quick here, at the top, yeah, right. painted, then regular, but even then, I'd rather have cubes because i just want as many games as possible i don't want to have one game that costs 300 dollars so that i have 30 games that cost 10 so there yep. we go there what fair. You got, andy? all right andy well so first of all great segue because i just backed recently that castles of yes. burgundy uh, <laughs> miniatures. Yes. because it's one of the best games ever and stefan feld games are notorious for playing amazing and looking terrible and so anything that can upgrade his stuff to look better I'm all about it, but uh, no. By and large, I'm a, I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. I like me some meeples, okay. I uh, I grew up with meeples, you know. Uh, <laughs> I have a I have a uh, sign. In I was my, raised my by meeples. <laughs> I was raised by meeples. My meeples. Power to the meeples. I actually have a sign in my game room that says Meeple Cave. I would have brought it in, but I forgot. Um, so I like I like meeples. In fact, you know, it's funny. I, I agree with Chris in the fact that I grew up with those cube games, too. The very first version of Agricola that came out, which, mm -hmm. by the way, that's debatable what it, how you say it. Agricola. Yep. Agricola. Agri 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 it's not debatable. There is a it's way to say It's not debatable, it. but it's Agricola is stupid. Agricola. Agricola is right and stupid. Anyway, the very first so. version came with cubes, all the cubes. So you, you had your 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 sheep and your boar and your your cows. They were just different colored cubes. And then they introduced a fancy upgrade called animeeples, animeeples that were shaped in the forms of animals. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I, I'll stick with the meeples. I don't mind minis. I like minis. I, I agree, though, that, uh, that just the the grayness usually is eh, it's not, it's not that great. I, I, I'm going to have to agree with, with Chris, though. The standees are the worst thing ever. I'm sorry. I mean, God bless you. And, and I don't mean to, I don't, I don't want to insult your game. Uh, it sounds like, actually, the standee you showed up looked pretty cool. I will yes, say that. It that was cool. not your normal standee. The acrylic ones did look sweet. I will the acrylic, that. acrylic looks good. It still has the problem of seeing you from one side. But, yeah, but, but, but by and large, so cool standees. I'll take it. <laughs> standees yeah. remind me of something from the 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 nineties or something that w w was not actually a uh, a hobby game. It was a mass produced piece of junk. Yeah. 
So. Like Fantastic Four. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Furby. Yeah, Furby. Like Fantastic Three plus one. Yes. <laughs> so. Always goes back to Herbie. All um, right. Well, guys, let us know what is your preferred uh, piece to play with and uh, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching this clip from Around the Board. If you'd like to watch the full episode, please click on the link down below. Around the Board is essentially a game show featuring four board game enthusiasts that discuss board game topics and news in a competitive format. Whoever wins gets to talk about whatever he wants at the end of the show. So please join us, won't you, Around the Board?